Hello fashion sewers, it's Colleen G. Lee here. In this video, I'll be doing a voiceover because I had problems with my audio. So let's get started. So I'm focusing on the asymmetrical top and I have changed it slightly. So the neckline is still asymmetrical and also the hemline towards the top is going to be asymmetrical. So what I've done here is where the slits are, at the top and also the lower part of the sleeve. At the lower part of the sleeve, I'm going to put some tie bows just to give it that cute touch that I'm looking for because I think it was missing something. And also within the waistline, as you can see, it's very simple and sleek. I'm going to be using as much of the fabric as I possibly can. So it's going to be a little bit more fullness in that particular area. And I'm also going to be using some of the tie feature from the sleeve into the waistline of this top. So what I've done is I've made a sample of the sleeve because I'm just going to fo focus on drafting the sleeve. So I'm not going to focus on the bodice section at all. Um, the sleeve is going to be not too much of a challenge, but I haven't done this type of sleeve before and I've done asymmetrical tops like this before. So as you can see there, there's a tie bow and this is the slits that are happening in the centre of the sleeve. Those so this is a sleeve pattern. I drafted the semi-fitted sleeve block. And once I did that, I lengthened the hemline of the sleeve. And then I opened that out in order to create the flare. And then I proceeded to cut the sleeve in half by going down the center of the sleeve, which would have been the straight of grain. So would, that would have given me the two sections that I needed. I also added some facing to the sleeve. So it was a grown on facing. And that is a sleeve complete. As you can see, I am fitting the sleeve. I've tried it on. I'm checking the balance and the opening, the opening at the top and also the bottom of the sleeve, just to make sure that when I bend my, bend my elbow, you can see my arm, you can see my flesh in between those two slits and making sure that when I do bend that the seam which is sewn in that small section there is at the right level so it's not too high and it's not too low and it's also the right amount and yeah the bows are definite the bow is definitely a good feature and as you can see the sleeve is quite long which is what I wanted to achieve as well so my pattern drafting has really gone well I'm also checking to make sure that it's on balance on my shoulder and that I'm happy with the fall of the sleeve and there's some, there is sufficient amount in the head of the sleeve to make sure that the sleeve opening opens just the right amount, not too much and not too little. Yeah, it's a good result. I've now cut out all my pattern pieces. So those are the ties. That is the waistline tie and my facings that's the back and the front and now moving on to the sleeve i actually have sewn the sleeves because i was just excited just wanted to know if it worked in my fabric and this is one piece this is the front and the back so i'm just going to show you the neckline to the front there we go yeah it's a nice shape i love that shape and as you can see here this is a one pattern, one pattern piece, and now I'm moving into the back. And one of the reasons for that is that I wanted to make sure that I used all of my fabric, otherwise there would have been uh, much more fabric left over, and I'm trying not to add, you know, any more to my fabric stash. If I can use all of my fabric, I will do. If it means changing my design, then then that is what I will do. So there's a lot of volume in that side section to this amazing asymmetrical top but it worked it really did work so those are all the pieces all ready to be sewn so that is what i'm going to be doing next Ta-da! my top is now complete yeah i'm really happy with it really happy the way it's turned out the bows are nice and cute and the slit openings, yeah, they are just on point. I'm happy with 
the bow to the side of the top i just think that adds a cute little dimension and it also brings in the element from the sleeves as well so i'm really happy with the results of that and the fact that i haven't wasted any fabric so most of that fabric has been sewn in this garment and the neckline yeah happy with the shaping of the neckline i love necklines like this you know asymmetrical styles it's one of my favorite styles of garments to wear is an asymmetrical garment and yeah the fullness that's in the side of the top is on point it just pulls in at the waistline so you have a few gathering lines to the front and also to the back the back is just really plain i really should have shown you the back shouldn't i yeah maybe next time so yeah i'm really happy with that all i need to do now is just give it a final press and i also need to press my hemline which i haven't done as yet and there we have it another project complete 2019 spring summer 2019 yeah i'm totally happy with the results um the sleeves fit well if i make this again um i would definitely have a go at making the sleeves a bit tighter but for this look the looseness of the sleeve works um i do like the neckline yep yeah, because I, I love asymmetrical necklines anyway so that's amazing i love that I like the fact that I used nearly all of my fabric um, so the detailing at the sides is the best that I could achieve making sure that I used all my fabric. I think the amount of fullness and the way it's actually displayed there will definitely depend on how I actually tie it because it's not, it's not tied down to the fullness. I actually can play about with that so I can have more to the back and I can also add more to the front. I like the drag lines that are at the back because I didn't cut it in a way of where it was enabling it to drape so it looks more like a drag line but that is fine because that's what I go for when I do my designing. Overall I definitely do like the result of how it works and it looks amazing, amazing with those pants.